Hi guys, are you here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you how to model something from reference. Let's get started. So a few days ago I was outside and uh, I've kind of spotted this structure. It was on top of uh, some kind of a shopping mall and I thought, you know, this is a cool idea for something sci-fi. So I wanted to show you how I model something when I, you know, find some inspiration. It's like how my brain works and what I do with the shape, how I approach this. Because, you know, if you want to model something from reference, you should never really model exactly what you're seeing. You should kind of take inspiration from bits and pieces and put it all together, yeah? So this is what we're going to do. So let's start. Shift A and that's the cube, right? Let's make it a bit bigger and longer and taller. I'm going to be, by the way, moving a bit quicker, right? Because, um, you know, Temple's Fugitive. So if you guys are beginners and you want to learn how to use Blender, then we have a fantastic free tutorial for you. Actually, it's a course. So go ahead on our website and grab it. Um, it's absolutely free and it's brilliant. So go for it. Here, we're going to, you know, grab these. And uh, did I move that? I think I moved this. Maybe illusion. Uh, one more time. Cut it here and not too big, something like that. And we're gonna grab this and extrude it and grab this chamfer here. That's it. Uh, let's just uh, cut this here and let's extrude it down. Go to vert mode, select this one, Alt A, and drop it down. Then Alt text with mesh machine and we lost cavity, um, which is a sacrilege. Now here, what we could do is we could actually punch it. So let's grab that and press J, grab this face and Alt E and punch it with machine tools. And, uh, oh, this is divided. Let's just remove this garbage and do it again. So Alt E, punch it, there we go. Then we're gonna, you know, chamfer this a little bit and we're going to um, chamfer this one a bit as well, like this, okay? I think that's okay. Let's now um, grab this wall here, this face, whatever, inside it a bit and, you know, extrude it inside. And now we're going to cut this and move it in a bit. So up them both in fact let's move them a bit up a bit so just tiny right blender is crushing on me it's a good thing we have power safe so again um let's drop a loop here and maybe somewhere here grab that and extrude it in um so it's a little bit too low so gz and move it up a bit there we go and let's move it to the other side and let's actually chamfer for this we can't because garbage so let's clean it now we can perfect and we're gonna drop these two and shuffle them as, as well right and we're gonna run this one up so control b and you know four segments i'm gonna grab this one and run the chamfer here to hmm Maybe we could remove this chamfer for the time being. So let's go with Mesh Machine and Unchamfer. And we're gonna grab this here and this, come on, this one. Control B that a bit and Alt X, Peachy. Now we're gonna go to the top view and grab a cutter and switch it to cut and slush it here with a bit of a bevel. So shift click and then we're going to shift it to life so i mean shift it to uh, to a solid so let's go to settings and shift click on shade solid that's what's gonna happen and let's hide this cutter and grab this one hang on and what we can do now is echo this here on like this yeah no that doesn't look good let me see here a bit lower how this will look I'm not sure if I like this you know here let's just grab that and this one right 
and maybe move it to the left. So vert mode, this one and Alt A, boom, and let's clean it. So operations clean mesh. Yeah, that's I think it's a bit better. And in this case, you know, this will work. This could be, for example, chevered from this side. So let's clean that. And uh, what we could do is we could, uh, whoa. Oh yes, we can't do that because this is too wide. So let's move it inside. So GX, move it inside a bit more. There we go. And then we can, you know, run this edge here and we can actually bevel this. So let's say six, copy to the other side, do the same thing here. And this one actually is too long. Let's collapse this GY. Yeah, something like this. And, you know, bevel this too. Grab the top one and bevel a uh, chamfer this like this, okay? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Awesome. So now let's mirror this to the other side because reasons. And I don't really like how this is flush here, you see. We're going to do something, you know, something, something here. So let's maybe do something like this. No, that's a bit better. And we could actually cut it inside here. So select that and grab this and uh, cut it inside here like that. So it's hollow and we could just uh, VX and boom, right? Yeah, that's cool, man. So here in the back, we could have some silos. What the hell not? I don't know, bevel this and X and cut it. And we're going to uh, grab these, sharpen, and whoa. Um, let's go with multiply. There we go. And let's actually grab this and control LP and uh, delete that. And we're going to move the origin to this one, to geometry. We're going to scale it just a little bit. And then, you know, kind of expand it up like this. Is that cool? I think that's pretty cool. And uh, we can just move it in here, you know, something like this, right? And for the time being, just, you know, mirror this. So, doesn't work. So, Alt X A and mirror, boom. Okay, cool. Let's the, uh, run the power save before this shit crashes again. So now here we need to establish a scale. So let's say that, you know, humans gonna be human. So two meters or slightly less than two meters, right? So this could be an entrance here, right? So we're going to add another cube and expand it, bring it up here, make it wider and bring it closer here and uh, chamfer it in this area. So now what we need to do is apply scale, otherwise bevel is going to be messed up. Control B, then scale it here, go to occlude, and in vert mode select left side GY, move it in here. And uh, how are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty peachy. So this would work, and we could make this slightly offset, so... Maybe like this, you know. I don't want this to be in the middle. I want it to be either higher or lower. I think higher will look better. It's gonna look taller and sort of more imposing. So here and um, operations, no, where is it? Bullions, union, right? Yeah, there you go. Shift two and, you know, here operations multiply, right? And then we can, you know, play with bells, whatnot. Let's just get this occlude out, control B, chamfer. So it's kind of, you know, similar at the bottom. Nice. And we could have some windows here now. So let's grab this part here and chamfer it as well. In fact, let's bevel this first and then chamfer this one, right? How are we looking? Well, that's quite interesting, actually. I like that. We're losing bevel here on this edge. So what we need to do is recalculate sharpens, run sharpen here, mirror to the other side and change the... Um, oh, we don't have a bevel here. Fascinating. We need to run bevel on, on the... Um, as weight, otherwise... 
it's not gonna catch this area here the bevel is too big so you know let's go easy on the bevel peachy okay so here we're gonna have an entrance right so let's uh let's make an entrance asymmetrical as well or maybe maybe somewhere here B. Come on. And let's maybe. Yeah, let's maybe apply this. Grab this one and. What the fuck is this? Let's clean that. There we go. And here could be an entrance, right? So let's run the chamfer here and peachy, right? And then we're gonna have a doorway. So shift curve extract and go here. So we could make it into a shape of blinds. So grab that GZ and move it up. Okay, and then uh, we could just slice this, right? So. So. V, X, and and slice. There we go. Peachy. And now here we could have some windows, but we could make it really cool. These windows could be kind of like, you know, could be like a massive window, or maybe two of them here on top. So press B, and then we're going to press... Okay, for knife and slice it. And let's just grab that and Alt EM macro to outset it like this. I'm gonna run two bevels. Well, I'm gonna run bevels here to make it softer. And we actually, does it fit? That's actually pretty cool. Although, maybe this one is better. I don't know. Can't decide really. Um, let's regulate this so I can see bevels. Hmm, we could run a chamfer here. I mean, not chamfer, the, uh, well, yeah, chamfer. Like this. Yeah, I'm probably gonna run the, um, bevels here on this. I think. Let's run them here like that. Let's see how this is gonna look. Let's recalculate sharpens. I think it's better, yeah. It just flows a little bit better. So, screw it. Let's run chamfer, I mean, bevels here. Shift Alt, I mean, Shift Control click to recalculate sharpens. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, the door is gonna be on the other side, but it's okay. What we're gonna do is uh, simply mirror this to the other side and remove the doorway. So select these and uh, and move them here. So Alt A, move them here and then clean, um, clean mesh. Boom, sorry. Uh, dirty mirror. And we have to rebuild this edge here, right? So, and here as well. Cool. And now we could have some, you know, windows or whatnot here. So grab them both and inset them a little bit and then um, out in macro inset them inside inset them a little bit more and out in macro and outside okay and we're gonna have kind of like you know window panels or not and we could uh, actually change color here so we could apply some mud to it using kit ops if we can so let's see go to concrete and add mud let's uh, see how we're looking um let's add something maybe more well more grayish come on there we go that's better and here we could have some windows right so you know um Go here to mats, so Q, mats, and, and a shift click on blank mat to add window, right? Now these windows are way too bright, so what we're gonna do, actually that's EV, right? Let me see cycles, 
That's better. Yeah, that starts looking badass. This could be some metal here. Uh, well, that's a little bit too dark. That's better. These could be darker. Uh, you know, some steel, whatnot. Oh, in fact, you know what we could do? We could go here to Asset Loader, go to Ada. No. Here. And put the grime at mud. Yeah, this would look cool, actually. And maybe this grime here, not the blue one. Um, this one. Yeah. This could also be grime. Oh, hell yeah, that looks cool. And, you know, that's that. And now we can start adding some, you know, some stuff to it. So, for example, what we could do is add some pipes or some, some maybe some ladder here on this side. Can I go into the rooftop? So, uh, let's add the plane as a background. I mean, as a, sorry, as a, as a ground. So, scan it, um, scan it a little bit. And we need to drop it down, so GZ. And we're going to um, solidify it down. There we go. Add some mud to it, and maybe non metallic and some rough mud, whatever, and make it darker. There we go. Cool, and you know, we could add some structural bits to it. So, for instance, we could grab the uh, what you call them, grab the end gun, so end gun tool, and maybe maybe slice it here B for bevel, X, and slice it. How are we looking? Um, let's apply smart apply this and the calculate sharpens in here. Let's multiply this. The calculate sharpens. Do we actually see this division here? I can barely see that. What the hell? Hang on. We go to this view here. We could actually insert it in here like this. This could be interesting. Or create a chamfer here around. So run a bit of a chamfer here to separate them a bit more visually. Let's see that now. Yeah, that's a bit better. Also, this one could be of a different color, you see, or a different mud, right? Something like this, maybe. Um, this could work. And um, let's uh, look over this card as Alt H. Let's grab this one and, you know, copy to the other side. Actually, what you could do is flip it. So Alt X and press Tab and go here or D and flip it and flip it to the other side because we already applied this here and then you know cut here. So select that and boolean slash right, and then this should be cut as well. Perfect. So pressing Smart Apply with calculate sharpens. Smart apply and blender crushed. Control S, most recent load. Boom. How much did we lose? We lose the cuts, yeah? Did we lose the mats as well? Motherfucker. I'm modeling too quickly. Um, either that or, you know, there's some kind of a mess up with the. What you call this thing? Oh, we could make it plastic. How about that? Maybe not red. That's maybe not the best idea. Let me see here. Can we change it to some other color? Um. Oh yeah, this could be kind of cool. There we go. And this could be the same material, but different, you know, different color. Let's say, you know, whoa, this one. Let's say some different color here, bluish. And now we have Disney. Why the hell not? So let's grab this, whoa. And add some 
glass so material and shift click there you go and well i don't really like this this is awful let's just put something a little bit less on the soy side these panels here what we could do is select this thing here around right and then shift d that and i mean shift curve extract this and select a different mud here like that and then what we could do is cut this you know somehow or even leave it like that we could create some uh, some sort of event here just for fun or we could just add decals you know probably decals gonna be better so we could even uh, create like a um sort of a a bottom color here like this so slice this in the bottom but uh, maybe uh really kind of like a the very bottom area and select that here and yeah and select the color so what color is this material 001 so add and this one and assign right and you're gonna get this you know kind of like a edge on the bottom we could also um RTM macro that so RTM macro that outside a little bit so I'm gonna have this kind of a small ledge here and move this doorway forward there we go do we have a bevel here oh yes we need to rerun sharpens because we're running on angle there we go let's just save it because if I have to do it again I'm gonna fucking kill someone okay so now uh, we could drop some, you know, some air conditioning units on the side, or maybe some kind of like, a, I don't know, some kind of like an aerial or whatever. And why this cube is so fucking black? Dude, what is going on with my blender? It's just fucking haunted or something. What the fuck is this? Oh, wait, there's no mud. There we go. Um, I forgot I'm in cycles. Right, SY, and, uh, well, let's just make it maybe, you know, Let's maybe make it uh, yellowish or something. Something like that. Grab this here and G, X and move it in. And, you know, just share for this. It's a little bit too long. Move it towards the front. And share for this one. And then what we could do is rip this face off. So shift curve extract, make it a bit narrower, move it to the top and move it in here. Right, and make it taller and maybe thinner. Right, and uh, you know, so I fight that bitch up a little bit. So here, there we go. Okay. Grab this and sharpen and then grab point here. In fact, let's just uh, have some loop here and do this. Scale this and Bevel this so it's gonna follow the uh, the theme of the building, uh, but we need to apply scale first. There we go. Cool. Let's see that. Oh, this could be a similar color than this. Actually, yeah. Here we could have some kind of. Uh, Mm, some kind of uh, just press K and grab that and extrude it and let's just chamfer this chamfer this a little bit grab these two bevel them and we're gonna have this kind of a structure here in the front let's run sharpens there we go and this could be also you know different colors so control plus control plus and we could even detach it, but uh, to be honest, we could just assign a different color here. Something like that, right? 
and we could run some you know some decals on it let's grab a plane and drop it down solidify it down uh, put some concrete on it And we got ourselves a house. So you see, the way to do this, right, is to grab some references, okay, and make sure that you're not going to repeat what you're seeing, but you're going to kind of, you know, play off of what you're seeing, okay? And uh, this is really important because it will teach you how to, you know, how to design something using your own ideas, right? So you're not going to be dependent on, you know, other people designs. You really need to start coming up with your own designs, guys. That's really important, right? So I just cut it through here, but not so deep, a little bit. There we go. I think that's going to look cool. Yeah, let's just uh, sharpen that and maybe scale it a little. So like this and chaffer it a little bit like that. Boom. There we go. Cool. And then we can play with decals, yeah? So so we could create some names here, for example. So let me just turn off this box cutter. And let's go with the... Let me see. Um, yeah, why not? project it and you know make it visible well and drop the alpha on it maybe we could make it darker um, maybe it's gonna be better I don't know maybe black would be better you know yeah much better because he offsets the um, the yellow is just um, the yellow kind of pops more because when you add some, something white, it's going to compete with the yellow. Here we could add some vents or whatnot. So we could go to, you know, uh, Blender Bros. 7 million decals um, because we have that many. And we could create some vents here. Uh, even two of them. They have to be too big. You always have to remember that you need to kind of, you know, always look at the scale that you're working with, right? We got some dead, we need some lights, so let's grab lights. We could use these or or we could use these. You know here and uh, here and project. There we go. And then we can use some trim sheets even if you wanted to. I mean I'm not gonna be using trim sheet but we could. We could use a trim sheet on this one, you know, um, um, on this bugger here. So click that D and let's go to some trim sheet like this one, for example. Alt click, see what happens. There we go. And we could just, you know, find something cool like this. Boom. And you got yourself kind of like a detail in the bottom. Same here. We could, you know, come up with some trim sheets or whatnot. Oh, that's actually interesting. Could place one more one here, and maybe could place three of them. Let's array them down downwards like this. Place three on the top, make them a bit smaller, not too small. So they're gonna be in the top part, and you know project them, and then mirror them to the other side. Oh yeah, that's good. I like that. Then we could have something on the bottom to offset that. So somewhere here, this wall, um, floor, by the way, it's kind of floating. There we go. Here we could have something, you know, something small. Doesn't matter what it is. Something that's gonna offset the top, even smaller. A really small detail. Project. We're gonna be doing it on both sides because you know, I'm not really gonna be rendering this from both sides, so I don't really care. This could work. Let's grab this one, adjust it, make it smaller, 
put it here, offset it a little bit, maybe or maybe even in the middle. And then we're going to array this to the top. Let's make three of them, it's enough. Project, boom, right. Oh, we lost one. Let's go back one more time. D, project. Okay, then uh, we're going to do it with other arrays. So project it first and then array it. Um, see? Tricks. PG. I like that. Let's grab these. And pop them in here. You know, smaller ones, right? One here. And shift the X or Y and one here. Select them both, D and project. We could have some kind of like a, you know, gap here on top of something. Maybe. Or some kind of like a, you know, I don't know. Some kind of a vent, whatever, small one. How are we going to be looking with this? Well, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. So there you go, guys. This is how you do it. You know, we took this idea from here. And we basically, you know, ran with it and created something original that looks pretty bloody cool. Looks like a like a space robot with an, an, you know, some kind of antenna in his head. It's pretty cool. We could have some stuff here too. For example, you know what? We're going to add here the um, the name of the lab or something. Um, or maybe alpha labs that no, doesn't fit um used to be something different oh that fits you need to also fit the font to you know to you know what i mean to the theme now lower or higher i think lower is better and i'll tell you why because if i put it lower it's gonna be a concentration of details here i want to create a space between these two elements beautiful empty space right and project. Now, if you're struggling with design, composition, lighting, we are in the midst of recording an insanely awesome course. It's going to be a huge masterclass on composition, composites, lighting, framing, tons of knowledge there. Um, so I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy it. It's going to probably drop in July. So, you know, keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, it's going to be pretty good. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.